All right. Thank you for being here today. My name is Kyle Woodhams, and I'm project manager of the Hope Box. Um, I want to tell you a little story of what happened in uh, my past when I was in secondary school. Um, so I, I dated this girl for two years and nine months. Uh, it was a long relationship, but she suffered really bad depression. And I tried to help her as much as I could, but uh, every night I, was, I had anxiety, I, could, I was less active, I, I wasn't eating properly. I was crying every night, my grades were dropping, my parents were worried. I was in hospital for like a week because I, I needed the nourishment to stay alive. And um, on, I, after two years and nine months, she ended up killing herself. Um, and I, I couldn't handle it properly, so yeah, I was, I was going through some s serious problems. But I think I'm a little bit over it now, I still sometimes think about it, it's kind of tragic, but... Um, I'm just happy I've, I've managed to pull myself out of this void I was in and then be able to be here today to work together with everyone. Um, I'd like to pass it on to my friend here to talk about why we changed the name from the Suicide Prevention Box to the Hope Box. <coughs> Morning, my name is Am Salmani and now I'm going to talk about the name of our project. Um, well, originally it was called the Suicide uh, Prevention Box, but we decided to change the name to the Hope Box. Now, why do we change the name, you may ask? Well, we decided to change the name because the suicide prevention box had a negative connotation and we didn't really like the idea of it. So we decided to change it to the hope box because we want to spread hope and give people hope. For example, for um, what happened to Carl's girlfriend. If she had hope in the beginning, that, uh, that wouldn't have happened. And um, our company name is called the HHLU, which stands for Help, Hope and Live United. And we are trying to help people and also give them hope and try to help them like, live united with other people. And yeah, that was basically our name. And I want to pass it on to the design crew over there. Hello, my name is Ezekiel. I'm Callum. I work part of the design department. So at first there was a little draft for the whole box, but then we redrafted it, we redrew it, so then we can have a plan to go forward in the future. And we have a big sign that says hope, because as I said before, we want to inspire everyone to have hope if they've got any mental issues. Now, we've got arrows to show where to enter, and it has the wording that says come to talk because sometimes you might need to be prompted to come to talk to someone. And we've got transparent doors to prevent other people from hearing conversations within because you may be in certain emotions or you may be having the deepest conversation and you don't want other people hearing that. We've got curtains to create privacy but also to give that sense of home and hope. Next one. So inside the whole box is where it gets interesting because we've got a 4K screen with two dual cameras, one security camera in case anything's happening or anybody's damaging property or hurting themselves. And another camera for the video chat, which is high resolution, so then the screen and camera work together. Now, we've got a clear protective screen so that if anybody wants to damage any of the property, that screen could really protect anything from happening and now we can use that for anybody else. We've got a fine notice for security purposes and also to tell people that there's absolutely no smoking inside or damaging of the property because we want to use this for everyone else. Now, we've got speakers and microphones so that communication is, because communication is very vital in this situation. Very important in this whole box is the emergency button because sometimes emotions take over and we can do things to ourselves. And if the person, for example, has hurt themselves inside the whole box, this, they can press the button and emergency services will be called or the security camera can see what it is if they haven't pressed it and call emergency services for themselves. Now I'll pass it over to my good friend. Hello. Um, with the logo, we wanted to keep it linked with hope. So we added the wings, which give uplifting feelings and shows that we're good. And also, like my friend Omar said, we also integrated the uh, HHLU, which is helpful in living that way. And also, we wanted to keep it linked with the mountain, so we added the green text. So, and with the background color, we wanted to keep it nice and colorful with the contrast of the letters, and the background color gives a nice uplifting feeling. With the poster, we wanted to give clear details on what we did, and the information we gave of the users that we were good and what we could do. We also added the Samaritan GK as another sports show that we're associated with them. And 
with the images and show that this thing. And with the banner, we wanted to get a clear message out that it was private and free. And so anonymous, free council. But because people tend to um, fade away when they see prices. Alright, um, so hello people, I'm uh, Mario, uh, I created a uh, short film in order to advertise this. I started by, uh, back at the start of the creating of the, of the film, I created a uh, storyboard in order to create planning, therefore we wouldn't be wasting time when we're recording for uh, thinking about the shots and uh, yeah, um, in the film we had to improvise because uh, we wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't have the budget to actually build the box and to put it into a train station because I'm just a student. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I had to uh, improvise and use a telephone box instead somewhere else. And uh, hope you enjoyed the film.
as you saw there. Um, yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I had to use the telephone box instead of um, uh, putting it into the train station, as we didn't have the budget. And now uh, this film, this would be used as a form of advertisement, which I'm gonna pass on to my friend, my colleague here. Hello everyone, my name is Sean, uh, as my friend Myra said, there are different types of ways which the whole process can be advertised. One of the ways it's going to be advertised is through posters. Posters are going to be implemented at most train stations as it's going to help to catch the public's eyes as they're going by in everyday lives. Also, the posters are going to be, is, was going to be used inside the film as it helps the main character to actually act upon it and actually take action instead of get eaten inside of this depression stage. Another way of how we're going to be advertising it is through side banners. Side banners are going to be used inside the websites, which is going to be mainly aimed for people who are mostly surfing through the webs, and this is going to be hopefully used to encourage people and influence them to um, give out the whole box a try and to force the app Another way we're going to be using it is, um, another way we're going to be advertising is through social media. And social media in this generation is mostly used by everyone and how um, how everybody uses it, such as like people who are older and people who are younger in this stage. And also, advertising for that way is going to help us grow as a community as everybody is linked um, in the social media. Um, as that's going to be one of the biggest ways to advertise. Another way we're going to be advertising is through the, you know, the short film, as it's going to mainly be targeted for everyone who are going to be uh, having troubles with um, everything in their everyday lives, and it's going to be used as a some of a, a beacon of light to shine in all these darkest moments to actually help with people who are suffering and people who actually can um, um, find a way to actually help and talk to people about the garbage And, yeah. Yep, so right. I'm going to give it back to you, Kyle. Right. Thank you, Sean. Um, yeah, I'm still from that film. Wow. <laughs> we'll think of like a thousand. <laughs> It was, it was, everyone's here first time watching it too, by the way, because uh, while Mario and I were, were doing the film, we didn't want to spoil it for our friends either, so this is the first time witnessing it too, but as you can see, it kind of relates to my story in the past. I'm, I'm shaking, it's so sad. Um, but if only that uh, my girlfriend saw that there was still hope, there was somewhere she can go when she had no one else to go to, that she probably could have been living today and the days onwards. Um, but yeah, wow. Uh, I'm gonna pass it on to um, to Mario because this film, like, it, it built like our relationship. Because before we were like, okay, we were we were close friends, yeah. But this film really brought us together to become closer friends. And you know, we spent a lot of time in each other's houses, filming different angles, going over the script and stuff. So I thought it was like a really good experience. So, alright. So uh, this film took a lot of effort. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my friend Kyle. We would spend uh, days in each other's house doing editing and uh, planning for the filming, and yeah, um, it took a lot of determination because uh, sometimes it was it would be hard to film because some actors would not uh, come in and we would have to uh, improvise. For example, in the girl scene, we couldn't have uh, like the one under the bed that was Kyle. <laughs> like, spoilers, but uh, yeah, because uh, she didn't she didn't come on the day. Therefore, we had to improvise, and yeah. that's what we done. We, made it we even went down the street and asked a random stranger <laughs> yeah, to walk Yeah, we had to ask a random stranger on the street. I asked like 10 people, <laughs> by, I was like, please, we just want to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And thank you everyone here for the experience that I got today to do this project with Amazon and Samaritans and everything. Thank you very much. Thank you, teachers, as well. Thank you, uh, 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 thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'll pass it to you, my friend here. Um, while doing this actual project, it was it gave me a sense of like um, how it actually made us grow as a team, as a fact that in, it actually helped with um, building our relationship with each other, and also it gave me a, a better insight about mental health. As when I was in secondary school, I actually had depression, and I didn't actually have like a certain way to actually get out of it. I was just 
really in the bad states. And while doing this project, it actually helped me in a different ways on how to actually act upon it. As um, I didn't actually have, like, I didn't know about Samaritan at that time. And it helped me a lot. And Sean, you made me cry. Yeah, I don't want to cry. And yeah, it just helps me a lot. Yeah. So yeah, we give it to Zeke. Oh, yeah. yeah, honestly, this this has been a very big opportunity that we have worked as a group to create a project. The help box, the whole box. It's just so great to have worked with all my friends. We've come closer. We've all put time and dedication through practicing. I mean, it's it's been a great opportunity, and we want to through the hope box. We want to inspire hope into everyone, and already it comes deep within our hearts that we want to help every single person, even in our day-to-day -day lives, which have mental problems or that need that help, that extra boost to be uplifted, so that they can come together and then we can live united. Hence the logo HHLU, and we would really like to thank our teacher Renata and Rudy for the opportunity and everyone here that has given us the opportunity, and Julia for coming and helping us. Thank you very much. Um, I came into the project late, but that didn't stop me from working with my friends, developing the project, and learning about Samaritans. And I've got fat people in my family with mental illnesses, and with Samaritans I can guide them towards them, and they can see the help they can get and with their services. It's pretty good. Yeah, same thing. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Um, to be honest, I've actually never presented before, but <laughs> but I'm really, really glad for this opportunity because before I was extremely nervous, like extremely, extremely nervous. But now that um I've actually had amazing like friends to actually guide me and to tell me like what to do and everything else, it's just uh, it just builds my confidence and I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I want to thank Julia, Renata, Rudy because they really, really helped me with this project. <laughs> Wow, hey, I mean, just uh, all of us. It's incredible. That, that film um, has touched my heart. I, it just blew me away.